demo you have here because you want to find how to use Video Pad Video Editor. It's a very simple program, but when you go to download it, install it, and you open it up and this is your screen, you say, what do I do? Especially when you're not used to creating videos at all. That's perfectly normal, don't worry. I've had a lot of emails and a lot of questions on how to use it. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, this is going to be your screen, of course. These are going to be your main tools that you use right up here at the top. Now, now what you want to do is you want to click on Add Media. Now you want to add some clips to play around with. Now I just happen to have these here. Now what you want to do is add one at a time here. But you can go back and also add more than one. There. Now if you notice I've got two of them here that are alike. Just click on one and go down here where it says Remove Item not a problem. You can remove or add them as many times as you want. Now let's say you want to put that one on first. Of course this screen here is where you drop over from this list to the left over to here. Of course drop down to your timeline is what you want to do. The reason why they have this is so you can edit a little bit as far as time frame. So my default here is three. I think it's four originally and you have your errors up and down to adjust how many seconds you want it to appear on your video. So let's go ahead and hit 10 just for an example. Just make sure you hit apply because if you don't hit apply it goes back to your original default. Hit apply and it's going to pop it right down here. This is going to be your timeline. Your timeline is the most important part of your video creation. Of course over here is where you're going to see all your seconds and all your minutes along the way. As you can see here, 10 seconds. Over here on the right is your video status. Now what this shows is at whatever point you go to your video, it's going to show up on this side. If you're done with your video, it doesn't matter. Wherever you point to, it's going to show up on the right side here. Then you hit your play button and your little slider comes back and it's going to show everything that you have to your viewers. That way you can see if you like it or not. Very, very simple. Now when it gets to the end, of course it's going to go black. And right here you have your timeline, your exact minutes and seconds. So you know where to put your place your thumbnail. Now the thumb line issue has changed with YouTube. It's random now, so it's hard to put your thumbnail precisely where you want to, unfortunately. Okay, note been said, let's move on. Now if you want to see any more tutorials on VideoPad, just check out my channel at The Super Home Worker. I've got more tutorials on this, but this is just the beginning, so please check them out. Just make sure you add the word THE at the beginning. Now let's get back to here. So let's say I want to add this clip right here. Again, the time is at default, so you have to choose the right seconds that you want. Apply. And then drop it. Now any more than one clip is going to come up with this pop-up window right here. It's going to ask you precisely where you want to place it. And here are your options, as you can see here, where you want to place it within your video. Now if you want them all to be the same, just hit your default option right here and click on OK. Okay, now you can see here your time has changed a little bit, it's scrunched a little bit. But you can see my clip is at the designated 10 seconds where we wanted it for the first section. And please don't think that your time is cut down, I just scrunched it for your viewing. So that way you can hit, you can look at all the video, you can delete, you can edit, you can move around, whatever you need to do at this function. So that gives you that option right here for the display. As you can see over here, it's 16 seconds now. Your video is 16 seconds as opposed to 10 because you've added a clip at the end, of course. So let's go over here and add, and let's say, add another clip. I'm going to leave my slider right where it is. And I'm going to leave it at 3 seconds, default, apply. Now, drop it down. Now it's asking me where I want to place it. Let's put it in the slider position. And it plops it right in between those two clips, as you can see here. Nice feature, huh? <laughs> now let's take a slider and drop it over here at the beginning again. Let's go to clear over to the left. Of course, this screen has changed because it goes wherever the slider goes. And that's what shows in this area here. Hit your play button. And, of course, it plays through. So you can take a look at it. So as you can see over here, your seconds are counting down as each frame and each clip that it moves to. That's a nice little feature. Now you can stop at any given time and come back just by hitting your pause button right here. If you want to watch it again, you hit it again, of course. 
as you can see it goes black as you're at the end just telling you it's the end of your video and end of your frame now let's say you want some transitions from one clip to another we're going to go into that now we're going to click on see these squares right here these small ones right here they're placed at the end of each clip that you add on to your video go ahead and click on one of those and you come up with this now Camtasia for example has a lot of options for transitions and it's a full version issue is a few hundred dollars so this is a good equivalent to the basic transitions of Camtasia so just go to the bottom right here and just click on the link link that's listed right down below here you can get it for free from me Camtasia so the free version so just to give you a heads up now back to our video transitions now you can see your options here self-explanatory again you have the option of seconds of how many seconds you want the fade out to be if you want each of them to be the same exact amount of time go ahead and hit your default and you're good to go now you notice this little brown bar right here that tells you that it has already been processed and it's into the clip each clip so when you go to the next one it'll show a brown mark as well and then it'll show you that it is completed the fade is done so if you notice I've clicked on this by mistake earlier and it highlights your clip that you're currently working on it lights up navy blue now you see this star each clip is going to have a little star in the bottom left hand side it'll show you the clip you're working on and a few options to work with here this one has a color effects on each clip as you can see self-explanatory choose the one you want you can have black and white or you can have a red tone or you can go to this one here it's your your choice whatever you like it displays it on the left here for you now this clip particular clip might not be the best example but trust me on a normal clip on a normal pick it will work and look awesome now let's move on now we're going to go to we're going to the brightness option you got the slider bar of course it's self-explanatory how dark or how light you want it and you use it at your discretion and then you go down and you want to try another option this is a neat feature it's crop and rotate you can crop this image and then rotate it if you like you can keep proportions even you can even change the proportions at the bottom but we're going to move on let's move on to watermark or you can go to your text file now your text option for your fonts now this option I love because you can add any kind of contact information you want you can choose your fonts your font size bold italic the size the type and it's all here for you right here at your fingertips it's very easy and again self-explanatory and you choose your color you see down below and you click OK when you're done now you can use where you find it lined in the middle on the left on the right however you want to do it there or you can do up down or center wherever you want to center that as well and of course down below is where you're going to add your caption of course you type in whatever you want now I'm going to type in make fast money online for free dot com just for this example that is my site by the way if you want to go ahead and check that out for more free tools that I always promote and as you can see it'll show it in the window as you're adding it so you know exactly where it is don't worry you can't mess up on this step at all and if you happen to get something wrong you just edit it and delete it so and move on now we go ahead and click OK once you like what you see now you see I got the option that I chose earlier for the image layout and the text as well and go over here we can see this one and it shows up on the right as you can see and you can click play and it's gonna play it as you can see here there's a green bar right above here with clip that you edited it just shows you that you have edited that clip to where you want it you can change that again if you want to later it just shows you that you have changed it that's all and it'll play through now you can stop it and move it slide it over here and I've told you about everything on it except for the icon features right at the top here it's coming up now now if you have a video hardware that you've uh, plugged into your computer just click up here at the top here 
and go ahead and click on it and it'll show you all the devices you have added to your computer and which ones you would like to select. Now I don't have one plugged into mine so I'm going to move on. Now if you want to insert a blank clip in between clips then you check your collar and whichever one that you like here, self-explanatory again. Now you can also have narrate. Now this is an awesome awesome feature here on this on this video pad video editor. And of course this is your audio section that you are explaining to just like I'm doing to you. Now you click on it and this is the screen you're going to get. Now it will show you where your slider is currently. Now it's very important that you put your slider at the point of where you want the narration to begin. So that's very important. You click your record button here and it'll your pause button and stop button of course. And then here are your options of where you would like to place the narration. Of course it's going to be in a separate file for you. So you can add it to whatever video you want and you name it to whatever you want to name it in whatever file you want. Just also keep in mind that again wherever you put your sliders where your narration is going to be. So just be careful with that step and be precise. And have fun with it. Now if you plan on making a lot of videos just I know this is obvious, but I'm going to say this. Make sure you name each one precisely. And that, you, that way you can go ahead and pull it out and put it in whatever video you want to attach it to. I know that's obvious, but it is. it needs to be said. So just make sure you're very careful about that. If you make hundreds and hundreds and, of videos, it can get very complicated. Okay, then you save it to the file that you want to save it to, of course. Now keep in mind, this is only the audio and the narration part. This is not the video and the narration together. This is just a separate file. You can place it wherever you need to. A nice little feature that wherever you're going to talk is your slider is going to move with it so you know exactly where you're at. So when you narrate things and try to explain things like tutorials like I'm doing, it is a lot easier for you that way. Now I'll just go ahead and click done. Now once you have your narration, it's going to show it down below your video down here, right here at the bottom. Now you can add other files as well. Uh, you can go up here and click on, you can add another vid or audio file and, and it had add media and it will find it for you and then you're good to go. Click it here, drop it down here, again you have two audios at that point. You can just drop and drag and it should place it right in place for you. Now how to split up your audios, that's another tutorial, another video that I have on my channel. So check that out too so you can see where your audio won't overlap or anything. So just check that out. Now we're going to go ahead and go and talk about um, the fact that if you want to edit your uh, audio separate from this particular program, you can have another additional program that's free as well. It's called Mixpad. It's from the same company that's making this program here. And you go ahead and edit your audio in that, save it in a file, drop it down, add media, go through the steps, plop it down, click and drag, and you've got it on here as well. So it's real simple. Now, we're going to talk about how to save. Now, don't hit save project file. Don't even bother with that. Um, unless it's long term, you just want to hide it away on your computer or something. Don't bother with that. It's a little confusing when you first first start out. Um, what I would like you to use instead of that is to go over here and hit your, let's see, it's going to be an icon right over here at the top and it's going to give you this right here and you're going to save it and you're going to find your file you can choose save computer and then drop down and see your options right through here as you can see you can click on YouTube but I like to use save movie and let's go ahead and use that for an example we're talking about here okay let's go down drop down to your extensions what extension you want to use that are compatible with YouTube or whatever item you're going to be placing or uploading this on or you can click on uh, go ahead and hit these options here high definition however you want to place the video how you want it displayed now this is this is a good option for a free program you can't beat this at all these options here and then you can go over to now at the bottom you see more options now if you rather just go ahead and upload it strictly to YouTube directly from here you can do that and you can just pull from your file of course and it'll save it in here and then you can go and go ahead and fill out these blanks just as, like you would if you were on YouTube to upload on YouTube. Now it's a great, great feature, and it's it's very, very convenient. And you, like you said, you fill out what you need here on the line. Now you click OK, and you may have a little trouble trying to upload from this version. Some do, some don't. It's it's really moody. So I would suggest you just go ahead and save file and use the computer data option. 
So um, now we're going to just go ahead and be in conclusion. And thanks for watching, and I hope I've helped.